Hello everyone, you're in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video, we are going to show you how you can install Endurance 10 watt Deluxe Laser on any Cubic Mega X3 printer. So this is our Endurance 10 watt Deluxe uh, Laser. And you see that we already add a mounting bracket L mount, and we usually send them uh, to our customers with this. This is L mount and this one is we call it P-mount, and you can find them on Thingiverse. And our laser box version uh, 1.1. So we have uh, two silicon wires coming from, from this uh, box, and we need to find where we wire, we solder them on 3D printer. We usually recommend to use fan one pin. So let's find it. So uh, we are uh, unassembling the coverage from um, on, on the 3d printer and uh, it's very important to do everything while 3d printer is uh, fully off and we suggest you to use anti-static uh, bracelet so the green one that you see on on Pavel's hand so as you can see it's quite easy to remove this uh, this part Okay, so you see that this one uh, fan that we need to remove, and you see this is a central uh, central pin. So let me show you closer. Okay, this one that is in the center. Okay. So we now uh, unplug it, and then we'll test polarity. So it's very important to check where we have PWM signal and the ground. So, so we also send these kind of connectors that uh, you may use for your 3D printer. So it's just a small uh, two-pin connector. Okay, we're turning on uh, our 3D printer. Okay, so uh, now we you see that we have a multimeter that you can use. You can buy on uh, eBay or. Uh, Amazon so we suggest you that you use multimeter and now we are going to check uh, voltage what voltage we have on our PWM pin and if the polarity is is uh, is good um, one thing that our lasers are 10 watt deluxe invincible and plus and pro all lasers work from 24 volts Okay, so now we are setting up 100% power on pin, and let's see what we have on uh, on multimeter. Okay, so we turn it on, and uh, what we see here is 8.87 volts. So it's not 12 volts as it should be, and it's not 5 volts. But uh, this this is okay. So the problem is that if you uh, use uh, these uh, and you, you wire uh, directly, the laser will not be running on full power because uh, the due to ratio here is about maybe 70%. So the laser will work like 70%. So we need to, to do something. Okay, now I'm going to show you what would uh, you see on the screen if you miss polarity. So our lasers can work if you miss polarity like for a few volts, like 10 volts, uh, but um, yeah, not more. So uh, what we have here, okay, we, we see minus. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty hard to see, but you see the minus uh, on your multimeter. So it means that polarity is inversed. Okay, now we are installing, ho hooking the laser uh, to the 3D printer. So we actually uh, remove wires from there and now we will put the laser on the right. So as you can see L-mount is quite universal tool.
So it takes like a few minutes and we're all set. Okay, so let's get back to our hack um, that I told you about um, duty ratio. So we need to add capacitor uh, with uh, 4.7 microfarads and it has to be uh, wired, soldered in parallel. We're not going to solder it uh, this time. We use um, these connectors and we'll add capacitor in parallel to uh, to your fan pen. Okay, so this is our dynamic PWM uh, box. Uh, the application for this box that you can change laser power us using uh, this potentiometer. And you can see the laser power. It's quite practical thing for CNC and 3D printers. So keep in mind that this particular 3D printer does not have dynamic PWM modulation. So it means that you can set up power once in uh, once you start engraving or cutting but you cannot uh, change it uh, while you run the g-code so marlin uh, firmware does not support it so let's wire it's it's very easy to do okay Okay, now everything is ready. You see the temperature is good for the laser, 25.7. Um, to operate the laser, you need to go to PWM mode. And here it's zero, here is PWM, and our dynamic PWM box is uh, enabled. Okay, we, we set up 100%, and the laser, you see, runs full power. So these are readings that are good for full power, 4.7 volts and 3.5, 4 amps, 4.5 amps. So that's, that is in range. Yes, just I forgot to say that here we need to set up second uh, mode and you see the power can be adjusted. Now it's 100%. So we suggest using Lightburn software and it's fully compatible with this 3D printer and with a modern firmware. Okay, you can see that uh, the laser or uh, the printer is uh, connected with Lightburn. Okay, we uh, need to put it into home. Okay, so usually you get such uh, business card where you see parameters that uh, are good for this laser, diode voltage, current, uh, heat power, and we have focal range. So focal range is a range from the lens to a surface. So it means that it's good if you set it up something like 60 millimeters from the uh, lens to a, a work, uh, to a yeah, workplace. Okay, now we are going to test the focus. So we, we sent these uh, painted, it's not anodized, but painted aluminum, uh, aluminum sheet that you can check the focus. Okay, and usually we set up on minimum power. So if you can hear the beep sound, it means that you are in, vo in focus. So the louder noise uh, is better. And once again, we have the range from the lens to surface is about 60 millimeters. So now we're engraving our test. Um, and you see the bright light? Always wear goggles while, while you operate the laser. And yeah, looks good. Looks good, we're in focus. And everything works fine. So, well done. Well done. So hope that you like this video. Now you know how you can uh, install endurance 10 watt uh, laser on uh, any cubic mega X 3D printer. Uh, you're welcome to visit our website endurancelasers.com and our online store endurance-lasers.com. If you have any questions, let me know. GF is at endurancerobots.com is my email and plus seven nine one six two two five four three two my cell phone. And you can reach me using Viber, Telegram, and WhatsApp. Have a great and wonderful experience with endurance lasers. Bye-bye.